Do you want to become the high-value man women can't resist? In today's video, I'm revealing the top 5 social skills that will transform your interactions and make you instantly more attractive to any woman. Forget the tired cliches and pickup lines. These tips are about real, genuine connection. Stick around because by the end of this video you'll know exactly how to turn her initial interest into lasting attraction. Let's dive in and master the art of attraction together. The first social skill is to switch from impressing to expressing. The best way for masculine men to make women like them is to express their personality freely and let the chips fall where they may. Women find the unfiltered personality of masculine men very attractive. It's female nature, my friend. The more you express your personality naturally, the more attractive you become. Masculine men are charismatic, and the first enemy of charisma is filtering your personality through the impure agenda to impress. The moment that happens, you've officially begun micromanaging the conversation. The irony here is that being preoccupied with trying to affect the way people see us is exactly what winds up subcommunicating lower value. There's a filter that asks, what will this convey about me? And our brain reaches for facts we think others will find impressive. But here's the thing. If we're not expressing our personality unfiltered, naked and raw, nothing will appear natural. To develop attraction with a woman, you have to bring her into your world. You have to take her on a wild ride into your reality. Your world and your personality are not just the facts about you. So what is it then? It's expressing who you are when you're not trying to impress. This is how to be more attractive. Let me give you an example of what I mean by just expressing, okay? If a woman says something you truly disagree with, don't be afraid to speak your mind. Of course, be reasonable and don't start an argument but express how you feel. Too many guys become yes-men around women and agree with anything they say. You'll stand out and make a great impact on her by being bold and discussing your thoughts. Hold your values and beliefs closely. Project your masculinity and speak your mind. Don't fear. You can't try to fit into a certain mold just to impress her or attract her. It's a game you can't win. To build attraction with women, you need to be your own person. Number 2. Genuine Compliments a lot of guys ask how to talk to women. My friend, if you want to develop attraction with women, give her genuine compliments. She must feel that she earned that compliment. Don't make her feel that you are chasing her using fake compliments. To look more attractive to a woman, you need to avoid fake compliments. Project your masculine energy when complimenting her. When a guy has feelings for a girl, he's more likely to say the wrong things than to say things that actually cause her to become more attracted to him and to fall in love. For instance, a lot of times when a guy has these feelings for a girl, he has the urge to compliment her a lot. Now I get it, right? I've been there. I know that feeling. But when it comes to complimenting a woman, two things are critically important. First is that you make her feel like she's earned the compliment. Let me explain what I mean by that. This means that instead of blurting out compliments all at once or every time you see her, which not only loses effectiveness but actually starts to annoy a girl, it should appear to a woman that you're slowly falling for her, that you're slowly realizing the special things you like about her, like she's winning you over day by day. That's how masculine men would do. And that's how to make her chase you. Now the second part of it is that compliments work better when you compliment something that she feels is unique to her personality and not a general compliment on her looks or her eyes or whatever. If a woman has really nice eyes, how many guys do you think have already told her that? Do you want to be lumped into that category? Or do you want to go deeper? where she feels like you're seeing her and admiring the real her that other guys miss. Act like a masculine guy and make a compliment directly related to a woman's dream. So I'll give you an example. Say she wants to be a psychiatrist, you could say to her, you really are easy to talk to, and I could totally see you being the type of person that people just want to share information with. I almost feel like I have already told you things that I never tell anyone. Do you think that's attractive to girls? Of course no. Let's add something spicy to it. Now a good thing to do is embrace your masculinity by saying something like, too bad you're such a dork, because that breaks the tension and brings things back to a more playful level and stops it from getting too serious. And I'll explain why that's important in a minute. Now in addition to validating something important to her, it also does something very important for you. It communicates to the woman that you are the selector and you're not the selected. What do I mean by that? Most guys will settle for anything they can get. And when you let a woman know that you're actually sizing her up, she'll be the one trying to impress you and chase you. Embrace your masculinity and she'll become addicted to impressing you. 
and the more she finds herself trying to impress you, the more invested she becomes in you, and the more likely she is to fall in love with you. That's how to develop attraction with women. Social skill number three is don't kill your mystery. Masculine men are mysterious when they talk to women. They don't kill their mystery. The more mystery you project, the more attraction you build with women. They don't want a man who reveals all his cards. Stop telling her what you think she wants to hear. Many guys will talk a woman out of feeling attraction, even talking her out of falling in love, especially if you start telling her exactly how you feel about her too soon. Telling her is bad because it takes the magic, the suspense, the mystery, the tension and that mental challenge out of the situation. It pops the balloon. It kills the masculine chemistry. When you say to a woman very early on I like you, in her head the woman hears he's admitting to me that he likes me, which gives me all the power which for some strange reason, makes me not like him as much anymore. Now there are a lot of psychological reasons behind this, but every woman's biggest fantasy is the day when she finally tells a guy her feelings about him. And when you tell her your feelings first or too soon, you're robbing her of that special moment, of that dream. Every woman that falls in love goes through the same exact process, and when you know the process, you can take her through it, and she'll think it was her idea to fall for you. Have you ever heard the saying we love to buy but we hate to be sold? This is why everything needs to be under the radar so she feels like it's her decision to chase you. Because if she senses that you're trying to convince her to like you or manipulate her to like you, she'll subconsciously put the brakes on, pull back, and a lot of times, she won't even know why she's rejecting you, but she'll just have a bad feeling about things. You cannot convince a woman to like you, and if you try, you'll sound weak, needy, and very desperate, and that's how you're going to kill the attraction. Your job is to help her come to that conclusion on her own, and you do that through a mix of giving her the feeling that she's winning you over and being the mental challenge that she craves. That's what masculine men would do. Number 4. Two steps forward. One step back. Masculine men are known for building up tension and anticipation to attract women and get them obsessed. Because for women that's what it's all about. The build up in their mind. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? The little mental game she's playing with herself is way more exciting for her. That's how you get women to chase you. Let me give you an example. If you're talking to her, and you're touching her hand as you talk, and you're holding her hand for a second, and it feels good for her, and then you pull it away, and you don't touch her for a little bit. Because now in her mind she's waiting for that touch again. Whereas if you just grabbed her hand, and you sat there the entire conversation holding her hand, eventually the tension dissipates. So show your masculinity by taking two steps forward and one step back. She will feel your dominance, and at the same time it will be clear to her that you are not needy. You have control, and that's what women want. This goes for things like holding eye contact with her, where you're talking, you're having this flirty conversation with her, and then you have that slow moment where you're looking at her and you hold that eye contact, and then you step back and you go back to the normal conversation. Always two steps forward, two steps back. Now she's waiting. She will want more from you. That's what women actually like. It's the build-up, it's the what's going on here, it's that mental game, that romantic tension that she needs to feel. That's how you develop attraction with her. Social skill number five is vulnerability. So I've seen a lot of videos from specifically masculine male content creators telling men to never be vulnerable. It messes up with your masculinity, but you have to understand that masculine men, in some situations, they need to be vulnerable and in others, they can't. Vulnerability is not something where you're telling a woman that your dad didn't love you enough when you were a kid. That's not stuff to do early on. Cool vulnerability is these slightly embarrassing admissions that you make that she can identify with, that show her that you're opening up around her a little bit. The best way to learn vulnerability is by watching interviews with celebrities. If McConaughey gets on stage and starts trying to impress you, and talks about how he's got this giant mansion and this yacht and this sexy model girlfriend, the audience will not gonna like him. So instead he gets on, and he tells these humorous anecdotes about his life that make him seem like a real person. That's what you need to get in with women because there's gotta be some level of openness, but you gotta do it in a way that's amusing. For instance you might say something like, you know, I used to struggle a lot with public speaking. I get so nervous that I'd stumble over my words and forget what I wanted to say, but I made a conscious effort to face that fear, and now I actually enjoy speaking in front of people. It was a tough journey, but it taught me a lot about myself and what I'm capable of. This way you show her that you are the masculine guy who is capable of overcoming struggles and being a better version of himself. Women want that. 
That's how you can develop attraction with women and at the same time project your masculinity. By the way, if you find value, please like and subscribe for more content. See you next time. Thanks for watching.